Hi to all, welcome to my first class on symbol equations, chapter 4, class 7. In this class, I am going to discuss what an equation is. I have some chocolates with me. I purchased 5 more chocolates. Can you say how many chocolates do I have? For this, you must know how many chocolates I kept in the beginning. Since you don't know the number, let me take an alphabet. Let X be the number of chocolates I have in the beginning. Now, 5 more chocolates I purchased, that you can write it as plus 5. Now, the number of chocolates with me is X plus 5. Here, X we can call it as a variable and x plus y, we can call it as an expression. That is, a variable takes on different numerical values. Its value is not fixed. Variables are denoted by usually by letters of the alphabet, such as x, y, z, l, m, n, p, etc. From variables, we form expressions. Suppose, I have 80 chocolates with me now. So, how will you express it? The total chocolates in the beginning was x. I added 5 more chocolates. Then it gives the number 80. That is, the beginning x. Then, 5 more chocolates I purchased. That is x plus 5. Which is equal to 80. Here, I used an equal sign. Now, this expression becomes an equation. That is, an equation is a condition on a variable such that two expressions in the variable should have equal value. Here you can find out two expressions. One is x plus y, another is 80. x plus y is in left hand side of the equal sign, so we can call it as LHS and 80 is in the right hand side of the equal sign, so we can call it as RHS. That is for an equation, both LHS and RHS must be equal. Now let me take another example, 3 more than more than a number y is 5. How will you form an equation? Here, the variable used is y. 3 more than y. How will you write it? Yes, it is y plus 3. Then what is its value? It is 5. So we can write. Now, let me give some values for y. When y is equal to 1, what is the values of y? y plus 3? Yes, it is y1 means y plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4. But in the equation it is given as y plus 3 is equal to 5. So we can say when y is equal to 1 the equation is not satisfied. Now look at the value when value of y Look at the value of the equation when y is equal to 2. When y is equal to 2, y plus 3 is equal to 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. Now look here, the RHS, RHS is equal to 5. When y is equal to 2, you will get y plus 3 is equal to 5. So we can say, when y is equal to 2, the equation is satisfied. The value in which the equation satisfies, we can call that value as solution. That is y is equal to 2 is the solution of the equation y plus 3 is equal to 5. That is the value of the variable for which the equation is satisfied is called the solution of the equation. Here you have HSS 4.1 to complete the last column of the table. One equation is given, that is x plus 3 is equal to 0. And the value of x is given as 3. Now you have to check whether the equation is satisfied or not. Here, 
x plus 3. If x is equal to 3, it will be 3 plus 3, you will get a 6, not 0. So, in the first case, the equation is not satisfied. So, you can write no. Similarly, do the do fill the other columns. Here, check whether the value given in the bracket is a solution of the given equation or not. The first question, n plus 5 is equal to 90 and the value given is n is equal to 1. For when n is equal to 1, n plus 5 is equal to 1 plus 5 which is equal to 6 but n plus 5 is equal to 19 given. Therefore, n is equal to 1 is not a solution. Similarly, you can do the other problems too. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.